Guys, it's your boy Roots here from Team Relinquish here with uh, a deck profile for you guys. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while. Um, I wasn't able to go to the YSTC out like I originally was supposed to and ARG Atlantic City. Uh, just work been catching up with me, but um, I have been keeping up with the meta recently and I've been playing with the deck recently. That really feels really good. Um, I've been doing really good with it locally. Um, I got top four just yesterday. Uh, what undefeated, thanks to my boy Jacob Silverman, shout out to him. Uh, and then we split top four. So, but really just play testing wise, um, YCS Atlanta is coming up and I really feel like this deck is strong um, against almost everything in the meta, especially the new Ed Online slash April deck. So um, it is meta foes, it's 50 cards. But you'll see there's a few texts here and there that you'll, you'll, you'll ask questions about. So I get off the deck profile. Right here. So you play the one rescue rabbit. Uh, this is basically terra top in itself when you just go bring out two the two level three uh, metaphors and go to invoker. The best hand trap in the game, maxi self explanatory. Three tour guides and its counterpart. And what's funny is like in some situations you can um, shuffle back the one Takum tour on board and with the emerald and make this live again for your rank three plays. Uh, the zodiac engine, two whip tails and Three Momorak, very big second self explanatory. Auto win right here, Bambuku Karen. Don't need to explain that. Um, I'm not playing any um, back removal because I feel like Eccentric does everything, especially like if it does not relevant now, it's Cyber Dragon Infinity. Like you can summon this and force the Infinity to pop. Because it's just retarded, like you can put this in a scale, pop a card, and then pen summon it back and pop a monster. So I wish I had a way to put this at three, but right now the two the two ratio is really good for me. been working out for me. Uh, the one stretchable scale for the broad bull or tanky. Uh two Bismi gear and basically three of each metaphor of other card. That rounds up all the monsters. Spells, um, one quick play, one metaphor uh, spell. One book of move, which is really retarded. Like you can use this card offensively or defensively. Um, like you can book a Drancia and go into with Ori Hulk and just do 5600 right there, which is really, like this card just makes this and Ori Hulk just makes it like solves almost any problem. Uh, for that's all the one ofs. For two uh, for two ofs is Tanky, Pot of Desires, two of these and two Barrages. Um, for, I know some people might have some questions like why am I playing two barrages instead of three? Because um, the ratio here is for this engine is right here. Like um, I open up this card and it's basically these cards contribute to this, this ratio. So it's a it's a two or three ratio, and this helps out a lot better because sometimes you might dead draw the um, barrage in most cases. And the reason why I'm playing desires is. You, play, you do the Zodiac combo, obviously, and then before you do Emerald, then you play the Desires. So, and, and you're playing 50 cards. So if you play against Inferno and matchup and they go long more, they're gonna mill 10 cards and not 20, which is outrageous because if, that, if the deck mills more than 10 cards, they have a higher chance of milling Snow, which basically is their, their, their win condition. So that's the logic behind that. Uh, two tankies, but I feel this is the best ratio because um, it gets me to Momorant no matter what. So the two to two ratio, it's it, it works out for me really. Uh, that's all spells trap wise. A lot of people say, I see not playing this card anymore. It's like it's degenerate for a reason and needs to get banned. But as long as it's still valid, I see why not to play it. One combination, one counter. Um, I did not play a second counter because I just feel like I can search this out still. So there's no reason for me to play more than what, and I can shuffle that back with my Um one Zodiac combo because it's a part of a mini, a, a crazy part of Avarice. One compose and three strikes. So um, that's the main deck really by itself. Uh, this extra deck is one Invoker, one Totem Bird, one Break Sword. Uh, that's all the rank threes. The Zodiac package, one of each. Um, one Emerald, one Castell. The Utopia package that wraps up all the exceeds. And then um, the fusion is two, uh, one, two, one. I'm not playing Anemata because I feel like it's unnecessary. And the extra deck you really have to, you want to put cards that advance your game state. So uh, Iron Hulk is again, you can do the OTK combination where you can bring this out. And I'm a favorite combination. 
so that can do that. This is a trap during your bonus challenge, which is really good. And the uh, Utopia can get over like Cosmos or something. So uh, if I want to get over Dark Destroyer, this is my out to it. Castell is a spot removal in most cases, and one one ammo can shuffle back everything. And the Zodiac combo, you want to be very good with it. And I like Break Sword over um, a lot of the other these three. Because even though Totem Bird is really good against like Kaijus, it goes down like in attack ways. Like they could summon Thorough Blade, activate it's Effect Pitch, uh, Momorak, and then swing over it and kill it. And then go into the Zodiac combo and then I lose. So, um, Invoker's whatever, but I really feel this card because this is a Strap Dragon on Crack. So it's really a good card that I would rather, I would rather play than around, around 4. Because you can. You can really summon this back if you shuffle back the talking tumble like I explained earlier. It's really good. Um, sideboard wise, again, this is player preference. Um, two Ghost Ogre. Like having Max seen Ghost Ogre is just self explanatory. It's, they're busted as hell. Uh, three Lancer for the Infinite Macho. So I shout out to my Buster Bash with the 60 cards. <laughs> Tight. Um, this card, I really feel like. I feel like this card is better than Iron Wall because it play. Um, uh, counter and I play combination, uh, com uh, Zodiac counter and com uh, combo. So in some sort of situation, I might want to banish. Um, and I feel Lancia, to be honest, is better because it's a monster. In some cases, like if you want to do some damage or you want to like buff your opponent, you can set a back row and then during their turn, they're gonna like if they're trying to go for a game, they can just MST this or break Twin Twister or anything. And, it has the same effect, tribute, special summoning, and that's 2300 defense. And not a lot of cards get over it. So, in some situations, this card is really, I'd rather have a monster, like the same logic with Scythe coming off of Sanctum. Even though I'm not playing artifacts, um, I really see this card, I could utilize it in more cases than an Iron Wall. Because um, you can, you have to Dark Lord get you this card, and even though so, it's chainable. If your opponent rips Twin Twister or Cosmic Cyclone, then they're free. I'd rather have this card shut off for the turn, because next turn I kill you. So, Board Wipe is Regeki, Dark Hole. Um, this was, because um, I know about the Invoke was coming out the, the weekend, uh, I had two Defusions. What was funny is I played against a Fluffle deck, and this is, card was super clutch. So, um, definitely, this is a little spicy type for um, White Sets Atlanta this weekend. So that's one thing there. Um, two Forbidden Chalices. I wish I could play three because the card is phenomenal. It's great against everything in this format. It's good against Drancer. It's good against the Invoke deck. When they go Makaba, Attach, because it goes up to 2900, but Dred like Dryden could pop anything. So it's really, it's this card really, I feel, is like the MVP card, my cyborg card, because it answers a lot of questions. Like, and you might have some people that troll inside, like Fossil Dine and like attack declaration activating like you go chain and the uh, diners in defense so you still can kill and you, your your monsters are free so that's why we're getting it um and the back room um spur removals are two and two um i don't like to discard a lot of cards but i feel like the two two ratio is really good because uh cosmic cyclone against against in the mirror match when they go barrage i would just like banish your barrage and then let's say they have they have back row then the Twin Twisters really just cut out stuff because I could pitch a scale or I could pitch something to make them the Zodiac live because bringing out a board like against Zodiac, you want to have Mithrilium, Karen, and a Bakro to really deal with the board and you can have, we, we can really react it because you have a higher chance of opening up, um, a 33% more chance of opening up Barrage if you if you don't if you don't open up Teratob, which is just a one card combo, but if you don't open it up, you, you barrage is just as free without a sixteen hundred monster and your normal summon. So, but still, um, you want to eliminate the chances of your opponent doing much. And if you have a Dryden play, if you still have if you have Mithilium here and a Dryden on board, your opponent has to now they have they go from one card to five cards and then they have to answer your board because you still have a reactive back row, you have a floating methylium, you have a, a mod, like Karen is just degenerate in driving. So that's one, two, three, four, uh, four cards that your opponent has to deal with and they have five cards. So them to get rid of your resources and then establish a board. So this it just really logically it just makes more sense to do it that way. So um, that's the deck profile guys. Um, uh, always hit that like button let's see if we can get a hundred likes for this video. If you have any questions, feel free. We'll always answer you guys. Um, I will be at West Seattle with, with the rest of the crew. And um, this is your boy, Ruth, signing off for Team Relinquish.